Hey, what's up guys? It's Fish here and welcome back. So today we're going to be taking a look at the Spectator mod, which is really, really interesting and unique. And I don't think in my long time of playing Total War, I've ever seen a mod do this before, which is really awesome. And I think hopefully going forward, they're going to keep on trying to delve deeper into the Warhammer code and try and create other other scenarios and stuff that you can do within this mod. So basically what this mod does is it gives your entire army over to the AI to control at a press of a button. So say you're four hours hours into a campaign and you really can't be bothered to fight this battle which you've just loaded into and you really want to just kind of sit back and not really worry about the micro management of the battle if you press escape on this screen so before you start the battle you press escape the AI will take full control of your army you do still have a little bit of leeway here and there to kind of uh, I guess kind of ignore the AI and you can kind of order a unit around it might get redirected constantly but if you click enough I found that you can always take control of the unit it might just be a little bit slower than normal so this is a mod that is going to be great for those people who kind of just want to watch a cool battle and also don't really want to deal with the micro intensity of the battle itself. So you, you know, for those people who want to kind of be them, them armchair generals sitting back watching their forces be commanded by the AI and then just intervening when they need to. As well as this, you don't have to always have this on. So if you have the mod ticked on on the Warhammer mod screen, you, you know half the battles you can fight. So if I don't press escape, I can fight the battles myself just like they're normal. But it's only when I press escape, then the AI takes control on this screen. So if I don't press escape on this screen and just click start battle right now, I will control my full force. But if I press escape, which I will do, I'll press escape right now, and then I'll press start battle. You can see immediately the AI is taking control of my forces and they are pushing them forward to take on the Orc forces which are just ahead of us. So this is really, really interesting and a really un unique idea. Again, I can kind of divert, I can kind of move forces around so I can tell this unit to go here. It's not going to be redirected yet, but when the actual combat does happen, then the AI will decide, well, shit, we need to get this unit up from, uh, from our reserves to move into the next line. So again, if you want to say keep some units back, you can easily just set up, so I'll set up these like three units right here i'll tell them to hold back here and what the ai will do when the melee combat does start it will be like oh shit i've got three units back here i'm gonna then tell them to move up and attack the enemy when you get a lot closer and get into the melee combat the ai does decide to really start going hard with your units so it is much harder to kind of give your own orders in the battle when you're actually fighting uh, when you're fighting with the enemies but as soon as like you you can definitely do take control like if you just keep on spam clicking you will win and we'll see that when we get a bit closer to the enemy but as i was saying this is just a really really unique and interesting idea and i'm really excited to see it get taken forward uh, like maybe adding in f more kind of more strategy because I, I personally love this idea of being like the backseat general because in my point of view you know you would, you would kind of set a battle plan before the beginning of a battle and let your forces do it and it'd be up to the, ca the captains and the other leaders to kind of internet in like make that happen and obviously during battle stuff goes wrong so being able to like jump into the battle and suddenly realize oh crap I need to get this unit of swords right here which you know originally was just charging at the enemy I need this unit right here and I can go and jump in and give that order but the rest of the units will be carrying on to do their stuff and it'd be really really cool to see maybe going forward uh, like maybe like sets of formations so if for example and as you can see right here you got my units charging in now I could tell this unit to, to stop the AI will pretty quickly retell it to charge in which you can see but if, if for example I want this unit to get over here you know that's all I wanted to happen I can just spam click it and I will take control of it so uh, this is really like I can do that and I can keep on clicking this unit to go around here and I do take precedence which is again really cool so it allows me to really just adjust it you can see my reserves are turning up now. They're deciding where to go and where to really attack the enemy. So again, you can kind of almost, when you're marching towards the enemy, hold back certain units just to kind of arrive to the battle late and kind of use the AI to that, that advantage. You can see these guys are moving in now, just deciding where to reform. But by the looks of it, this unit is a little bit spazzy. So again, you see, this unit's kind of spazzing out a little bit. What I can do is I can, I can take control of it and tell it to charge in. But what I was saying was how interesting would it be if they do find ways of kind of giving the AI control of half your army. So say for example I'm playing as Bretonia and I've got a pretty heavy cavalry force and I really want to just focus on the cavalry because the cavalry are pretty micro intensive. So what I want to do is just focus on the cavalry and I want to kind of just let my infantry do its own thing. 
So what I could do, technically, uh, if, you know, obviously this isn't in my mods yet, but this is a possibility, you know, maybe what, what, how awesome would it be if I could just group up my infantry like this and the AI would just take control of group one and two. So when I press escape, the AI takes control of like the units I have grouped, but the units I don't have grouped, I still have full control of. Like imagine how cool that would be. You know, you just give the, the skirmishers, say for example, to the AI and you control the infantry. And obviously vice versa with like the cavalry. So you can't really be bothered to control with uh, control the cavalry. You just want to control the infantry. And you just press group and you press escape. And then the AI takes control of that. As well as that, to take it further, uh, imagine if you could set presets to your armies as well. So, for example, you could set a preset for... Um, for the way you want the AI to command your army. If you wanted to set a defensive formation, or if you wanted to set a skirmish formation, or you wanted to kind of act in a, a flanking maneuver. Like imagine having all these presets of the battle, which kind of the AI is programmed to follow with maybe a, a click of a, a certain button. So maybe for example, before a battle, if I press uh, if I press space, the AI will act in a defensive formation. If I press escape, it will, it will affect in an, an offensive formation. And if I press like J, it will go for skirmish mode like and just stuff like that obviously this stuff isn't in the mod yet but i think it'd be really interesting to see and see like this stuff get taken forward and i mean it's been a very popular mod for sure as my general gets killed as well so again you know if i saw my general getting low i could click him out of there and get him the hell out of there and not bother fighting so again i can see that oh these guys are winning i probably need this unit elsewhere so i'm gonna right click here and get this unit out of this combat so again you know i can still jump into the battle and take control of the units and and use my forces to kind of you know su like supply certain gaps and certain places in my formation which may be needing help and the AI kind of doesn't know about it. So it's kind of like a mix of both worlds, you know, you're half AI, half commander. And I like to see it as like the AI is the captains and the and the other people giving orders and you're like the main general sitting back and letting the, letting these captains ergo the AI take your orders and move forward. I, I think it's a really, really interesting thing. So I'm not sure if I mentioned it, but this mod is available in campaign and it is also available in custom battles. So again, as I was, I think I did an example earlier, you're like four hours into a campaign and it's a fairly easy battle, but you need to fight it nonetheless to like minimize casualties or something. So you can just, again, just tell the AI to take control by pressing escape. Um, and then in the other battles, say you're playing an another battle right away after that, which you really, really need to win and you can't afford to lose any men whatsoever, you can go ahead and just not press escape and you'll take full control of your army. So again, you have complete, you know, you can, you can give the AI troops or you can decide not to give the AI troops. So I think that's really the, the really cool thing about this mod is the ability to give the AI troops maybe in a battle where you can be a little bit, little bit more lenient and you can decide not to when you really need to win a battle. So uh, yeah, so make sure to go check this mod out. I think I, what I'll do is I'll load up a campaign just to show you guys that it works in campaign and then we, you guys can go check it out. There'll be a link in the description down below. So I think we've had enough of watching this. So let's go ahead and just concede defeat and go to the main menu. And then I'll bring it to you guys when I have loaded up the campaign. Okay guys, welcome. So this is my border low campaign, which I'm currently doing a let's play of on YouTube. I thought I'd just load this up to show you guys the mod itself working in a campaign and you can really see for yourself just, you know, what it does. So as I said, we are under siege over here. The Favi Enchantress is under siege. We just confederated with her last turn actually. And again, you can find the let's play on my channel, but we'll go ahead and attack this beastman army. We'll jump into the battle itself and I'll just press escape. And you again, you can just watch my forces fighting in the campaign, the AI taking full control of the battle itself obviously if you are part of my if you are watching my campaign at the moment don't worry this isn't going to be and i'm just going to revert the save but this is just a clear example of it working in the campaign itself okay guys so we have loaded up into the campaign let's go ahead and press escape and then we will go and click start deployment or we'll press escape now sorry that was the magic phase now we'll click start battle and you can see the ai has taken full control of my army they're marching forward they went ahead and stuck these guys onto what skirmish mode by the way they stuck my archers onto skirmish mode and they're just pushing forward towards the enemy again the enemy aren't like like the, the ai doesn't decide just to kind of sit in this defensive formation so there's no like no way of really showing the ai where to go or like to hold a certain hill that's something we could definitely see in the future of this mod and i really 
really hope that is the case. I'm going to go and continue watching this, but that's pretty much it for the mod itself. You can see my reinforcements are running onto the battlefield as well, uh, as fast as they can. So again, there's no way to kind of tell the AI to hold up and not uh, carry on charging. It does obviously do all my magic as well, which you can see the Fabian Enchantress did just uh, drop some spells down on these Minotaurs. Not too a very successful, uh, successful thing though. So again, all the archers are going to be holding positions now and shooting at the enemy, and the rest of the infantry is going to be charging in. My lines are going to get absolutely smashed in this battle. Um, and again, I could sit, I could quickly take control, but like, oh crap, the Minotaurs are coming for these guys. I need to get them the hell out of there. So I'm going to move these Grail Guardians out. The archers are running back themselves. I'll be like, oh, I need to go ahead and focus down this unit of archers right here. So I, it's just a really, really cool mod. And the way you can just jump in and take control and uh, enjoy it. Oh my god, this army. This is going to be a hard battle to fight on the actual campaign. But basically, that is it for the mod. Again, if this cavalry isn't doing anything, I can be like, oh, I want to go tell it to do some stuff. So I'm going to give the orders for it to charge in. And I, I can kind of take full control and not really have to worry about the majority of a battle, just kind of focus on small parts of the battle itself. Again, the AI has kind of redirected my cavalry, but it doesn't really matter. I can always, you know, just spam click until it does work. So again, hopefully you guys enjoyed this mod spotlight video. If you did, make sure to drop a like and a comment down below. Let me know if you're using this mod or what you would like to see this mod do in the future. And I'll see you guys next time and fish out.